Some people prefer the train, including for transporting their car. The car carrying train, which involves loading your vehicle onto a train while you travel comfortably in a passenger wagon, still exists in Austria. The journey to Croatia from Vienna through Slovenia lasts 14 hours and guarantees a good carbon footprint. We are from Austria, Wiener Neustadt, close to Vienna, and we go to Split by train. The train circulates three times a week, but only in summer. It transported 2,500 vehicles last year, which is four times more than three years ago. Like this French expat living in Prague, one third of passengers travel with their car. Combien ça vous a coûté tout ça? À peu près 800 euros pour trois avec le bébé, la voiture, l'aller-retour. Ça fait une somme quand même. Ça a l'air impressionnant, mais quand on enlève les deux jours de trajet en voiture. Les nuits d'hôtel pour trois, quand on fait le calcul, peut-être qu'on perd une 70 euros, mais ça vaut vraiment le coup. Quoi. And for many people, like these Austrian bikers, the climate crisis is a game changer. It's not environmental friendly to drive a motorcycle, but if we can do most of the kilometers by train, it's a good... You feel better. After a night spent in their cabin, passengers wake up the next morning in Croatia. They just need to unload their car and off they go. Now it's the beginning of the holidays. Eh? Yes, no, it started in the train. <laughs> Car carrying trains also exist in Germany, but not anymore in France, where they weren't considered profitable enough.